my name is Wynell Cowdery with I Need Mentoring. It is so exciting to be able to come to you today to talk about one of our new playlists. It's on YouTube where we're going to talk about entrepreneurs are made and not born. I think that's exciting news for you because it also helps you to understand that you don't have to just be born an entrepreneur, you can actually turn yourself into an entrepreneur by some of the steps that we're going to start giving you here in these videos. The first thing I want to talk about today is that there are several qualities that go with being an entrepreneur. And if you will just allow me, I'd like you to go uh, to take notes, if you would, so that you can remember what these qualities are. First of all, a growing entrepreneur is someone who is a risk taker. You have to be able to take risk if you want to be an entrepreneur. The truth of the matter is that you are also going to make mistakes, but if you're not willing to take the risk and make those mistakes and learn from them, then personally, I wouldn't even start to become an entrepreneur. The second thing is you really have to be a visionary. You have to know where you're going and you have to have a vision because it's not going to be worth it if you don't know what you want to do. And, you know, it's just like when you go out and you make a trip, you get yourself a map or you look on your iPhone or some kind of an Android device, or you find a way to get directions to where you're going. And there's nothing like being able to look on that iPhone or that device and being able to look at it and it find your current location immediately where you are. And you put in the address and it helps you to go straight there in the shortest amount of time. So you have to be a visionary. You have to know where you're going. The second thing is you really have got to be passionate. You've got to love what you're doing and you've got to want to be able to do this. You've got to wake up every day with that passion in your heart burning in your soul. You have to get up in the morning thinking about it. You have to eat it. You have to sleep it. You have to drink it. You have to talk it. Everything about you, about this passion that you have is for the this thing that you want to do, whatever it is. And so you have to be passionate about it because if you're not passionate about it, nobody else will be. So your passion counts for a lot. As a matter of fact, um, I've been reading a lot uh, about passion and I want you to know that really and truly without passion, you won't go very far because when you have passion about something, you want to share it with everybody and you want to talk about it all the time. And that's what makes it so exciting. The second thing is you have to be driven, which means that you have to drive yourself. Of course, people can encourage you like us and we can give you tips and things that you can do. But you know what the bottom line is? If you're not driving yourself and you're not really interested in doing this, then I don't understand what the point is either. Because of course I can encourage you, but hey, at the end of the day, I can't be there every day when you wake up and every night when you go to bed and every time there's something that goes wrong. So you've got to be driven with this passion that you have, with this vision that you have, and willing to take risks. The next thing is you've got to have a great work ethic. You've got to be able to sacrifice the time to put into what you're going to do. I mean, come on. If you're going to do this, you've got to put the effort and the time into it. And you've got to be a person that has a good work ethic that you get up and you go at it every day and you never give up. You never stop. And moving on from that, we get into being creative. You know, you can be creative about whatever it is that you want to do. And being creative just means your own personal ideas. And if you don't really have any creativity, brainstorm with someone that can give you some creativity to go along with whatever it is, that thing that you want to do. And I don't really want to name it because uh, I do not, one thing I do not want to do in this series of videos about what is an entrepreneur is I don't want to be telling you what you should do because only you know what is on the inside of you and what you really want to do. The next thing is you definitely have to be an out-of-the-box thinker. You've got to think much different than everybody else. After all, an entrepreneur is one who steps out there and decides they want to do something different. And so when you are thinking out of the box, it means that you're willing to do different things, things that nobody else has done. So if you're looking around and you think, oh my goodness, nobody has ever done this before, 
then hey, I think that's good news, don't you? Because you're an out of the box thinker. You're trying to come up with a new and creative idea that no one else has come up with. And you're going to do it so much with so much passion because you love it so much that eventually people are going to want to pay you for that thing that you have. Determined. I can't talk enough about being determined because if you are not determined to do this, then you for sure are not going to go very far. Why? Because determination says a lot for what we're going to do in a many things in our life. Determined means that every time there's a dip in the road or every time there's a setback or every time there's a problem, you are still determined to get up and make it happen. You have to because there's always going to be something that's going to possibly go wrong or happen or a setback or things that may not go exactly as planned, but don't always take it as a setback because it could be something that's about to launch you into a different level of what you're doing in entrepreneurship. So you must be determined. The next thing is you've got to be courageous. I mean, seriously, if you're going to be an entrepreneur and you're going to take on a new idea, being courageous is something that you've got to have because it means you have the courage enough to step out and do something that nobody else is doing. Of course, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, but a lot of your friends look around you. They're not going to be ones that are doing the same as what you're doing. The next thing is, and motivation, you know, so many of these go hand in hand, but you have to be motivated. You have to be able to get up every day with that drive, that motivation and push yourself. Like I said earlier, I can't be there all the time. And some of the rest of the people that work with us on our team, they cannot be there for you, but you can be there for yourself. Encourage yourself. Look in the mirror and tell yourself you can do this. You must be motivated. Learner you have to be willing to learn. Even I have not stopped learning. I know now my husband and I are teaching others about how to grow, to be entrepreneurs, to be managers, to get out there and do things for themselves. We're mentoring them every day and they're every day kids that are turning out and doing things for themselves. But they're willing to learn. I'm willing to learn. I want to learn new things every day. I mean, I'm not the youngest of chicks, but I will tell you that I'm willing to learn what it takes to get out there on the cutting edge and make things happen for kids. After all, that is what we're all about. And to end all of this, you have to be a maverick. That means you have to be someone that steps out on a limb and you do that thing, that thing that nobody else thinks that you can do. You're that person that maybe just is considered one who was the odd bunch or the odd person it doesn't matter if you're willing to do it and you're willing to get out and go after it, then go for it. So I hope that within these first few minutes that we've started about what is an entrepreneur, you will think about these things. And I'm going to recap and say them one more time as a list in case that you didn't get them all when you were taking notes. So here we go again. If you are interested in being an entrepreneur that is made, not born, here are some of the first things that you can do. First of all, you are a risk taker. You are a visionary. You are passionate. You are driven. You have great work ethic. You are creative. You are out of the box. You are determined. You're courageous. You're motivated. You're a learner. And hey, you're a maverick. So I hope that this will encourage you to come back and join us again. And listen, above all, we are all over the internet. You can find us on Facebook, uh, I Need Mentoring. You can find us on YouTube. Join the playlist that says Entrepreneurs Are Made, Not Born. You can find us on the web, INeedMentoring.com. And above all, if you want any kind of personal questions to be answered or things that you would like to hear from us, please write us at information at INeedMentoring.com. This is Wynel Cowdery signing off from England.